Mi chiamo Enza e sto facendo i crosetti. 82-year-old Enza lives in Varese Ligure. This village is well known for the Corsetti pasta stamp maker Pietro Piccetti. He has now sadly died, but his daughter Alessandra continues his tradition of hand carving these stamps. The stamp is made from one piece of wood so that the two blocks match. The wood needs to be close grained and hard, such as beech. Corsetti look like pasta coins and the decorations on each side can be different. And Enza is sharing her recipe for corsetti with pine nut and marjoram sauce. Metto l'uova. She's using 200 grams of zero flour. She is using only one egg for her dough with a sprinkle of salt. This is around 50 ml of warm water. She scrambles the egg with her fingers and mixes in the flour. She gives it a good knead for around five minutes. The dough should be soft and pliable. Ho fatto la festa della donna e ho fatto i crosetti. Li hanno mangiati, le sono piaciuti, ma come le ripeto, col sugo. Ora bisogna lasciarlo un po' riposare. Enza wraps it in cling film and leaves it to rest for 30 minutes or so while she preps the sauce. Her marjoram plant is at the bottom of her garden. It's a very popular herb in Ligurian cooking. She strips the leaves of her marjoram. Enza removes the green shoot from her garlic before slicing and adding it to the mortar with some salt. Poi c'è un altro anche di legno. Molto molto vecchio. Era del mio suocero. You can tell the mortar is hand carved because the edges are all soft. Her wooden pestle meanwhile belonged to her father-in-law. She bashes and grinds the mixture into crumbs. Ci vuole un goccino d'olio e lo prendo. This is Ligurian olive oil, Basta. which has a grassy soft flavor. Almeno io uso battere dal fianco, non giù. Guardare se è preparato. Enza adds two handfuls, about 50 grams, of Parmigiano cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano. She pounds everything to a thick, sticky paste. Per me, quando si stacca dal pestello, è pronto. The next step is to turn the pesto into a sauce. Anche una goccia d'olio. She adds a slug of olive oil and then stirs through some single cream. Ecco, questa verrebbe bene così. The pasta has now relaxed. Adesso posso tirare la sfoglia mentre faccio i crosetti mettiamo sulla pentola. Enza keeps the board and the pasta well floured. She rolls it out to about two to three millimeters thick. Il mattarello non è proprio quello della sfoglia. Con questo ci faccio la sfoglia della torta. Quello di sotto, quello più grande, più lungo. Yeah. 
ora provo se viene bene la, il spessore si sì, abbastanza the base of the corsetti stamp has a sharp edge and is used to stamp out the coin shapes Enza flicks them away with a practiced hand. She had her own restaurant for 10 years. The two halves have different carvings and traditionally one of them would have been a cross, hence the name Corsetti. The next step is to turn over the base to show the carved surface. Enza places a pasta circle over it and presses down with the other half of the stamp. The embossed surfaces catch the sauce. Enza likes to use more than one stamp. She places the corsetti in simmering salted water. She warms through the sauce in her frying pan with a little pasta water to loosen it checks to see if they're done. Per guardare se sono cotti. Ancora due minuti. Enza scoops the corsetti from the pan and mixes them into the pesto. Un attimino, eh? She pours in a little more cream. Then she gives them a good shake. And they're done. Ecco, sono pronti per metterli, per servirli. This sauce is so, so good. Il piatto è pronto. Grazie, Enza. E buon appetito. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Delicioso. Molto buono. Mmm. Marjoram, cream, garlic. What's not to like? I mean, this is absolutely delicious. Grazie. Tune in next week when we visit 86-year-old Giuseppe in Sicily, who makes macaroni for us.